Mariana Langston with the Southern University Ag Center. Information today about cooking from the pantry is being brought to you by the SU Ag Center Nutrition Program. Having a pantry stock with basic supplies helps you to prepare nutritious, family friendly, or last minute meals. The trick is figuring out what you should stock. Pantry staples are items that you keep in, the, in your pantry or cabinets on a consistent basis. Non-perishable foods are a great option for keeping your kitchen well stocked. When stocking your pantry, keep in mind what your family likes. Watch for sales or specials at the grocery store. Just make sure that the expiration date has not passed or is not very close. Make sure to keep your pantry well organized. This will make sure that you can use foods before they expire and you can see exactly what you have. Shop after season items. Immediately following a holiday, many stores will mark down items to reduce their inventory. Items like canned fruit in 100% juice can be used in smoothies or added to salads. 100% fruit juice can also be added in with smoothie, smoothies, freeze juice and fruit in popsicle trays for easy popsicles. Canned vegetables can be served as side dishes used in soups, stews, casseroles, salads, pasta, and rice dishes. Just be sure to get the ones that are low sodium or no salt added. Canned tomatoes, tomato sauce, or, or tomato paste can be used also in soups, stews, when you're making vegetable side dishes or used in your main dishes. Combine canned tomatoes with onion, green peppers, and spices for an easy pasta topping. 100% vegetable juice, can, you can serve as a beverage or use to make soup. Dry cereal can be crushed and used in the place of breadcrumbs and recipes. Pasta can be used in family favorites such as mac and cheese or spaghetti. It can also be used to make things like pasta salad or added to soups or as a base of a casserole. Oats can be served as a breakfast item and it can also be used in the place of breadcrumbs and meatloaf. Tortillas are a good option to use for making wraps, burritos, soft tacos, or quesadillas. Canned chicken, beef, tuna, salmon, can be used to make tacos, stir fries, sandwich fillings, casseroles, and soups. Canned dried beans and peas, such as these, can be added to salads, casseroles, chili, and soup. You have options for dairy foods, such as canned evaporated milk, dry milk powder, and shelved stable milk. It uses a substitution for cream and sauces, gravies, and soups. They can also be added when preparing mashed potatoes. It is important to store the foods properly to ensure their quality. Store your canned foods wisely. Keep them in a cool, dry place where the temperature is below 85 degrees. Before opening them, make sure to wipe off the top of the can and dry it. Once the can is open, the food must be treated the same as fresh food stored in airtight containers in your refrigerator to retain taste and nutrient quality. Never store food in the original can with foil over the top. Do not buy cans that are badly dented. Small dents won't cause food deterioration, but if it is a major dent, it could cause damage to the seams and that can be, the food can be contaminated. Store extra rice in airtight containers such as these. Dry beans and peas should be stored in a container with a tight lid and not in the bag that they're purchased in. Store those in a cool, dry place out of light. For home preserved foods such as these, make sure that you label the item like these are Italian stewed tomatoes with the date on it so that you will know when these foods were preserved. When planning meals for your family, look for recipes that use items you already have in your pantry. Be sure to check out our website, 
suagnutrition.com for recipes and healthy cooking tips. Also be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Please take a few minutes to complete the survey and thank you for watching today.